Okay, this is where I said, this is that little framing axe head that I found when I was cleaning up my shop. This is an older model. Rubbing on a wet piece of chalk right there, trying to decide what I wanted to do with it. Originally, I was going to come in and take off the top, too. I was going to split this and then make just a little hammer on the back. But I think I'm going to go with this. And then I'm going to round this, take these bevels off of here, and then I'm going to square this, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. I used pretty much the uh, same tools for this as I did blanking out that tooth piece. I used to be used a big 9 inch uh, grinder, handheld grinder or whatever, to cut the material out. You can kind of see where that line moved it a little bit but anyway I just used to trying to set that out and uh, then switched over to smaller four inch grinder and kind of finished it up a little bit and then used the polishing polishing wheel to clean it up from there but uh wasn't all that much good there's quite a bit of brush pitting and stuff in it but I decided to leave it because it added like a little bit of character to it. The one thing I didn't like about it was that uh, I had to take that that hole out to make it look right where they had the hole in there for a, a set screw up pin. The I'm gonna polish that end up a little bit more. I don't, I don't know if I got a good picture of it after. But yeah, that's just a dowel rod. I use that butcher knife to whittle it down where it's fit. I just did this off and on throughout the day. I didn't really just jump out there and try to do it or anything. But anyway, this that is one of those jump to something you can use deals. Just uh, on a footnote, I, I saw a video of these guys. This guy was etching steel with vinegar and uh, battery charger. I'm going to give that a try. See if I can do something. Here it is. I don't know if you can see that or not. It used to be a true temper. A little square head. Unfocused. Anyway, there it is. I'm going to throw it at a stomp tomorrow when the sun comes out. What's this? I can't see again. I can't see again. They don't really want me. I had the grandkids over here all day. And uh, my son and his gal, and we did lots of stuff. They mostly watch chickens hatch during the day. I'm getting to watch them do it tonight. Got like crap little, little baby chickens in there. Uh, but yeah, this is what this is about. Thought I'd come up with an original idea for a video and somebody I go call him out because he's green. He, he, he made one. Mine's cooler than his. Well, actually, his is pretty cool too. But, uh, anyway. That's a piece of junk. Found on myself right over there. Right, right in front of the window. I don't know how long it's. It's been laying in front of that window for probably four years, four or five years. It's not junk no more. Now it's a work of art. See this? That's a work of art. I'm going to replace this handle. This is the uh, dowel rod. 
I make little cheapy throwing tomahawks or whatever because, well, they get out in the pasture and I can't fight them. Uh, and that's what I make the handles out of. So I had a piece of it laying around. I'm going to get me a regular hatchet handle, but when I get done with it, I want it to look like this. It'll probably, like, from here, it'll taper up to the deal. So, we'll like, when I choke up on it for doing stuff, it'll still have that on knot. I put one in this, and I just can't you can barely see it just swell. But this is little ridges. That's something my brother taught me to do when you're swinging a hammer or something. Little ridges in there. Because we were both welders. And uh, got them gloves on there. You need something that'll, you know, catch your hand. So, yeah. For sure. I'm going to go try to throw it tomorrow. It's too dark out there. Okay? I got a tree stump out there I throw at. But I can't see it in the dark. So, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Hope y'all liked the video. Uh... I'll try to get around to where I can actually set up the camera sometimes and let y'all see me build this stuff. Well, there's a lot of guys that do that, but, uh, yeah. Just because something started out a piece of junk don't mean it's got to end up that way. That's kind of cool. Free axe head, I'm going to get an axe handle for like $4.95 or something. Put it in there, do the whittling. And yes, that, that butcher knife that's in the pictures, that's what I use to whittle with. It's good enough for, you know, the guys that discovered all the good parts about this country. It ought to be good enough for me. I'm going to have to go out there. Something's going on. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Just watch this signing out. If you didn't enjoy it, it's a little late. You already watched it.